My name is Narayan Gurwich. I am 11 years old. I am a student of Marin Academy. I would like to be a lawyer when I grow up. I've been reading the study packages using our Guyana Contrema and using password papers to do. My name is Kaveri Jagmahan. I am 10 years old and I attend Hope State Primary School. I have been practicing for the National Grade 6 assessment by doing the past exam papers, watching the learning channel, and going to lessons. I decided to participate in the Waste Kit competition because I know that the exams are coming up and I wanted to test my knowledge. My name is Joseph Prendergast and I'm 11 years old and I attend Marin Academy. Well, I've been studying, you know, because it's good to study for an exam that's coming, even if it's a few months away. I felt like it would be a good experience to know how it is like and how well I do. Welcome to WizKids, the exciting game show where knowledge is power and young minds shine. I am your host, Ramona Luti, and today we've gathered another set of the brightest and sharpest minds from across Guyana to test their knowledge in core subject areas related to the National Grade 6 Assessment. Let's get ready for a fun-filled show of challenging questions and thrilling competition. And remember, we're not just testing their knowledge, we're also testing their speed. Let's get ready to meet our contestants and see who will advance to the semi-finals to compete for the title of WizKids Champion 2023. So contestant number one, tell us about yourself. My name is Narayan Goodrich. I am 11 years old and I attend the school of Marin Academy. Awesome. Contestant number two. Hmm. My name is Kaveri Jagmohan. I am 10 years old and I attend Hope Estate Primary School. <laughs> Welcome. Contestant number three. My name is Joseph Prendergast. I'm 11 years old, surprisingly, and I'm from Jamaica and I attend Marian Academy. Awesome. Welcome, guys. So we're going to start with science, please. Is steam an example of precipitation? Contestant number one. No, it is not an example of precipitation. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. I would like to stay on science. Which planet is the brightest? Contestant number three. Venus. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, mm. please. Um, I'd like to stick with science. Why would some plants and crops not survive a drought? Contestant number three. Some plants and crops would not survive a drought because they need water to survive. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. I'm sticking with science again. All right. There are four containers on a table. Each contains a different metal. One metal is in a liquid form. Name the metal that is most likely in a liquid form. Contestant number one. Mercury. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category. I'd like to stay on science. An animal eats both plants and other animals. To which category of feeders should this animal be placed? Go ahead, contestant number three. The category of feeders that they should be placed in is omnivores. That is correct. <laughs> Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science again. All right. True or false, your blood type is determined by the genes you inherit from your parents. Go ahead, contestant number one. True. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Medicines that are sold directly to a consumer without prescriptions are called? Contestant number three. They are called over-the-counter. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Um, science. What is the SI base unit of mass? Go ahead, contestant number three. Atoms? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Oh. The correct response would have been kilograms. 
Oh. All right. Let's go with English, please. Choose the most appropriate punctuation mark to complete the sentence. Help! shouted the little girl as the stranger entered the yard. Contestant number one. An exclamation mark. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next. Social studies. CSME came into being on. Contestant number one. 1976. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would have been the 1st of January, 2006. All right, let's proceed to mathematics, please. If Ramona walked for one yard, how many feet did she walk? That's number one. Um, two feet. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would have been three feet. I was going to say. All right. I just have to hmm. do it. Let's go to social studies, please. Greenheart is to Guyana as nutmeg is to contestant number one. Grenada. That is correct. Ooh. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in social studies. Caribbean islands are predominantly affected by which type of natural disaster? Contestant number three. Hurricane. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, I have science, science. Explain the term nutrition. Contestant number one. Nutrition are the nutrients that you need to grow and live. That is correct. Oh. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Go in social studies. <laughs> Wilton plans to visit his grandparents in Guyana for the August 1 celebrations. Which activity will Wilton enjoy? Contestant number one. Wilton will enjoy masquerades because it is Emancipation Day. That is correct. Yeah. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in social studies. <laughs> Settlements like St. Cuthbert's Mission and Oriella were established to preserve the lifestyles of which ethnic group? Contestant number three. The Amerindian. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mm -hmm. Um, science. Indira placed a hot boiled egg in a container of cold water. What will happen to the temperatures of the water and the egg? Contestant number three. Um, the temperatures of the water and the egg will lower. Can you elaborate on that please? What will happen to the water? It will get colder. And what will happen to the egg? It will get colder. All right, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. What? All right, I was trying to get something specific out of you. So if you're putting the hot boiled egg in a container of water, the water will get warmer and the egg will get colder. All right, and let's go ahead with the last science question. Please. How many elements are there in the periodic table? Contestant number three? 54. All right, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The correct answer would be 118. I did not know that. I All just right. tried to make it so no one else would get it. <laughs> All right, so let's proceed. Uh oh, science gone. Oh. The science category has been exhausted. Let's proceed to social studies, please. Banks DIH is to aerated and alcoholic beverages as Kaisuko is to. Contestant number three. Sugar. That is correct. Mm. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, English. What is the most suitable synonym for the word help? Contestant number three. Assist. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English again. Choose the prefix that correctly completes the underlined word in the sentence below. Roy was getting something patient because the doctor was taking too long to see him. Contestant number one. Impatient. That is correct. All right, so go ahead and select your Next category, please. Social studies. In which region can the village of Reden Hoop be found? Contestant number one. Region seven. That's incorrect. Reden Hoop can be found in region number three. All right, so let's go to math, please. 520 expressed as a decimal is? Contestant number three. 0 0.25. That is correct. Yes. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Um, I'd like to go to English. Choose the antonym of the underlined word. 
John was reluctant to swim because he felt cold. Contestant number one. Unwilling. That is incorrect. Remember, we're asking for the antonym. <coughs> so that answer would have been ready or willing. Okay. All right. Let's proceed to social studies, please. Why are cokers or sluices built in Guyana? Contestant number one. It's be to keep out the sea water because we are below sea level and we could be vulnerable to floods. That is correct. Yeah. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. This is the last social studies <laughs> question. Which mineral is linked with the story of El Dorado? Contestant number three. Gold. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. We've exhausted science and social studies. Wow, English. Choose the synonym for the underlined word. The farmers were very thankful for an abundant harvest they had last year. They are hopeful to have the same harvest this year. That's number one. Large, large. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. <laughs> How much is 849 divided by 10? That's number one. 84.9. That is correct. Oh. Go ahead and set your next category, please. Stay in maths. Shane arrived at his school sports at 10.30 hours and spent 3 hours 45 minutes. At what time did he leave? That's number one. He left at 2.15. When? P.M. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Stay in maths. 7,000 ml of sanitizer was poured into liter containers. How many liter containers were filled? Contestant number one. Seven. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Stay in maths. What number should be added to 66 to get 121 as the sum? Contestant number three. Hmm. Um, 53? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer would have been 55. Let's proceed to English, please. Are the words below synonyms or antonyms? Center, middle. That's number one. Synonyms. That is correct. Mm. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Go to Max. 275% expressed as a decimal is? Contestant number three. Um, <clears throat> 2.75. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. What is a synonym? Contestant number three. It's, it's a word that has the same meaning to another. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English again. Are the words below synonyms or antonyms? Smile, grin. That's number one. Antonyms. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be synonyms, all right? Let's go to mathematics, please. What is the lowest common multiple of 12 and 96? That's number three. Um, the lowest common multiple of 12 and 96 is... Uh, 12. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct response would have been 96. Let's proceed to English, please. Choose the synonym for the underlined word. Do not leave your things unattended or else someone might take your things. That's the number three. <clears throat> Do not abandon. Abandon. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Um, stay in English, the last so This question. is the last English question. What word is the opposite to the word enormous? Contestant number three. Tiny. That is correct. We only have math left, so we're going to go straight into math. How many years complete a decade? Contestant number three. Ten years. That is correct. And the last question for this episode. What percent has to be added to 40 to make it 50? Contestant number three. 10%. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. Yes. The correct answer would have been 
The person that won this episode is Joseph. Congrats. In second place, we have Narayan. And in third place, we have Kavri. All right, thank you guys so much for participating. For those of you who are yet to join our show, remember to stay motivated and continue studying. I am Ramona Luti. Thank you for tuning in. It feels really good. I did not go in expecting to win this, you know, but guess what? It was fierce competition.